So this is Silent Sussex. We aren't close in the beginning, my curious neighbours and me. There are no potlucks offered, cups of sugar borrowed, exchanges on the weathers of tomorrow. I take space. You accommodated me for free. I left my home of bricks and name to enter your green domain. In the silence of my wordless dharma, I open my heart to abiding with your peaceful and cheeky ways. You love to be near me, so I tread lightly and slowly in your world, and I watch. I see you, watching the green crickets upside down along blades of tall, dancing to the rhythm of the grasses swaying in the morning breezes. Watching the gentle diligence of the six-bodied, six-legged ones. Is there space in my gaps for you to spin your cone tunnels and open webs? Watching the multitude of teensy winged ones. Can I spare a drop of blood for your supper? Watching hoverflies, hornets, wasps. I see you stop and wipe your brows with your forearms. Work is relentless sometimes. Can I offer you something sweet to drink? Watching the field mice, rats and stoats whose scurrying startles me when you nibble through my tent ground sheet. Watching the toads trying their luck, climbing the Everest of my tent and tumbling down again at 2am. Watching my conditioned fear. Tendencies for preemptive violence diminish, leaving gentleness. And now I hear you, hearing the symphonies of moths under a quarter moon, hearing the F sharp, the blades of grass sing as the inchworm lopes down. In appreciation, I offer my heart hums that you may all be well and have safe, joyful days. Hearing the orders of the gathering of beetles as they tirelessly recycle the detrius. I remain in appreciation for the unseen handiwork and courage to continue despite the powers. Hearing the bottle fly, he says excuse me as he clips by in a rush. In this space, this meadow, we breathe the same air. In this rich silence, our presence shimmers. We are the meadow. What do you call yourselves, I wonder? I listen for whispers of your names and hope in this place we may abide in the everlasting breath of companionship, that we may not be parted from the gentle ways we find to know each other. He came early in mid-August, the JF drum mower. Millions of children, grandparents, siblings, the weak, the strong, the busy, those singing are flung into the air, wings and limbs torn, bodies crushed, the survivors become refugees. Grasses, seed heads, flowers felled, scraped into long piles, tumbled and tossed to dry out then gathered and bound by John Derry 545. Can you escape, avoid the 40-inch tyres and crushing weight? The raptors curl and circle. We are a graveyard. black bale tombs sit upon a scorched stubblescape. Now there is silence, not of cooperation, of desolation. Four winged ones have vanished. I strain to see below the severed grasses the streams of fugitive insects and creatures, exiled mice and stoats, starving hornets, moths, and butterflies, whose lives so brief are diminished further. I am silent again, powerless to defend against the aggression of management, cycles of production through violence. To Walter, who is chosen to be counted to live and who is not. Around my tent, a circle of long grasses and flowers unreachable by the machinery exists. I become a refugee centre. Wasps and hornets and toads circle and gather, 
take stock of themselves, rest. I watch you leave to explore and returning finding no food, circle to feed her. This is silent Sussex.